Supreme Court rejected a liability shield at the center of a settlement against Purdue Pharma, the creators of the pain medication OxyContin. KCRG TV 9's Abigail Curtin joins us live in studio with why one local addiction specialist is really conflicted about this decision. Abigail? Well, the Sackler family, who controlled Purdue Pharma, had planned on giving states up to $6 billion to avoid further lawsuits. But now that the liability shield is gone, that funding is no longer guaranteed. Of the roughly $6 billion that the Sackler family would have paid across the nation, about $24 million of that would have gone to organizations and victims of opioid use across Iowa. Though since the settlement was never finalized, it's unclear of exactly who or what organizations that money would have gone to. But Rod Courtney, the executive director of Cedar Rapids' Crush Recovery Community Center, says some victims may support the Supreme Court's decision and others may not. They, they'll no longer be uh, able to avoid any other future, uh, future litigation, uh, which, you know, for some of us, the, that's, that is good news. On the other hand, uh, you know, the roughly $24 million that Iowa won't see because of the billion dollars or billions of dollars that P Purdue Pharma was going to pay out. So I don't know. It's a really a double edged, it's kind of a double edged issue. Now, Courtney says that funding could have been used to help bolster opioid recovery efforts since most of Iowa's opioid funding is focused on prevention. Though because today's ruling is still so new, it's unclear where the future of legal action against the Sackler family will go. Live in studio, Abigail Curtin, KCRG TV9 News. Thanks, Abigail.